What is up mga bay? Today, I will show you how I made my ref tops. So as you can see, ito yung dalawa sa mga ref tubs natin. Uh, this has been running for almost a year and a half now, or almost two years na. Uh, ang ginawa natin dito, isa pong ref tub or yung refrigerator na scrap, uh, binili natin yung, yung, yung inner part kasi tinanggal na nila yung metal na casing kasi pwede pa yung event touch. Actually, galing to sa uh, junk shop. And then, binili natin for uh, 50 to 150 pesos each. So, ito yun. Economic. No? Mura. Madaling gawin. At saka matibay at it, it, it will last. So, yung tub natin is connected pa din sa ating free-flowing water system. It's a half-inch PVC pipe. Ayan. Supplying water 24-7 sa ating ref tubs. Galing po yan doon sa ating artesian well from there the pipe is underwater and then naakyat papunta dito so meron siyang inlet or inflow supplying water and meron siyang outflow or drain or overflow pag drain pag maintenance and everything dito po dadaan papunta po ng ating main drainage system the level of water will depend on the level of your overflow or drain. So, ito na. Kasi nakikita nyo may lumot na siya. Yan po. Hanggang dyan lang po yung tubig. No matter how much water I, I put, put inside. Connected yung dalawang, la, dalawang drainage. Shout out! everyone meron tayo dito ang dalawang ref tub yung isa nagawa ko na nung mga nakaraang araw bale completed na siya no meron na siyang drain meron na siyang overflow pipe at meron na siyang outflow may konting variation ito sa ating existing na dalawang ref tubs I made sure na yung drain natin is at the bottom during maintenance or cleaning ng tub mas madaling gawin kasi tatanggalin mo lang yung yung over, overflow pipe and eventually the water will just drain itself papunta doon sa ating drainage system so here are the specifics tatanggalin natin yung parts no? hindi po ito yung pipe na gagamitin natin no? kasi ito yung pang drain natin so, ang pipe na gagamitin natin is basically walang butas. So, the height of the pipe will determine the height of or the level of the water that is inside the tub. Ito natatanggal po itong nipple, PVC nipple or ginawa ko lang na nipple. So, this will be the main drainage or the outflow or the main hole ng ating drainage system ginamitan ko siya ng epoxy to secure itself ito po yung itsura nya ayan natatanggal po yan okay and this will later on be connected to our drainage system papunta na po ang tapon sa labas I'll show you kung paano ko ginawa stay tuned so these are the things that we need for this project Elastomeric na sealant or pwede ng non-sag epoxy This project is not sponsored So ito lang ginagamit ko na brand kasi 
this brand is I think the most uh, reliable brand na nasa market ngayon but there are a lot of other brands no to choose from nansag ibig sabihin hindi siya magsasag kung paano mo siya nilagay ganun din siya matutuyo it's nansag epoxy so dalawa yan A and B you mix together in a 1 is to 1 ratio para ma-achieve natin yung strength and durability na inaanap natin 2 okay. inch inner uh, diameter PVC coupling to couple a PVC pipe para maging isa coupling hole saw set hole saw ibig sabihin saw lagarin pambutas okay meron tayong isang set dito pili ka lang kung anong sukat ang gusto mo but eventually we will be using the same uh, diameter as this one no? sa ating uh, PVC coupling barena eto meron akong cordless na drill pwede rin yung uh, my cord na drill any drill will do sandpaper 2 and a half or 64 millimeter hole so kasi nalaki itong gagamitin nating coupling or fittings na ilalagay natin doon okay So here we go. Ito na po. Uh, lalagyan na natin ng epoxy. Make sure na yung bottom part yung lalagyan natin ng epoxy. Kasi later on, lalagay, i-insert natin yan dito. Purpose is para malagyan ng epoxy sa loob which will add up extra strength para sa ginagawa natin. Yung bote will hold the pipe, uh, the, the fitting in place no? para hindi po siya mahulog doon sa ilalim. The water will be the secret weapon. Hindi po didikit sa kamay natin pagka inaayos na natin yung uh, epoxy. water and then push the epoxy not so wet para naman lumikit pa rin yung ating epoxy so here's the mix mixture for the other side no? so iba yung gagawin natin uh, the same material but this time gagawin, may, may idadagdag tayo sa mixture Dagdagan natin ng denatured alcohol para hindi masyadong malapot. Ibubuhos lang natin siya ngayon dyan sa gilid ng bunganga no? para mag-penetrate siya sa loob ng ating ginagawang butas. Ito yung reason bakit maganda ang nansag epoxy dito sa project na to kasi Kapag hindi nansag epoxy yung ginamit natin dyan, uh, yun pong mixture na yan, nagsasag na at tumutulo na. Tingnan natin yung ating finished product. Ito na siya ba eh. At almost 48 hours na. Ang tigas, ang tibay. There's no way na matatanggal yan. 2 inches inner diameter na PVC coupling. In place, hindi po yan natatanggal. Malinis At saka durable Never po yung matatanggal Unless 
give the in mo talaga intentionally so pwede natin lagyan niya ng PVC pipe at saka elbow para magkaroon tayo ng overflow eh sa labas eto ang kanyang setup ayan drainage lagyan ng tubo eto papunta na sa ating main drainage system and that is basically it Uh, I hope may bago na naman kayong natutunan from the basics that we are doing. Sana na-answer ko ang mga basic questions niyo regarding making a ref tub. Uh, from a basic ref to a very nice fish cage or fish compartment. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan, don't hesitate to write a comment down below. Ask anything as long as kaya kong sagutin, sasagutin ko. So mga bay, watch out for the next video. The next one will be the install, the installation of these ref tubs doon sa ating existing na setup. Dadagdag natin siya, itatap, itatap natin, ikakabit natin sa ating uh, centralized drainage system. Pati lalagyan natin ng free-flowing water system. And hopefully, uh, madagdagan din natin ng aeration system. So all of those things will be uploaded on our next video. Yun lang. Thank you very much. Subscribe. Thank you. Baboos.